Hello everyone and welcome to Learning English with Neverdot. I'm Neverdot and today we're going to learn about opposites. In English, you can create an opposite by adding un to the word. Let's look at some examples. Uncomfortable means not comfortable. Undeniable means you cannot deny it. And unsurprising means it's not surprising at all. Knowing this rule, we can make the problem of finding opposites disappear. Disappear. It's the opposite of appear. And we know that because it starts with un. Disappear. Dis. Hello everyone, welcome to Learning English with Neverdot. I'm Neverdot. And today we're going to be learning about opposites and how we can create opposite words by adding the prefix un or dis to it. Let's look at some examples. First of all, we have undeniable, cannot be denied. Disappear, which means to not appear. Disassemble, not assembled. And distaste, which means that it tastes terrible. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed learning about opposites with me. And just remember that not all words that start with un or dis are necessarily an opposite word. It can sometimes be hard to decouple the word from the prefix. Uh, decouple means to make it not a couple, the opposite. Uh, we know it's an opposite because it uses the prefix dis, decouple. De oh. Welcome to Learning English with Neverdot. I'm Neverdot. Today we're going to be looking at opposites and how you can create an opposite word by adding un, dis, or d to the beginning of the word. Let's look at some examples. Unsurprising uh, means not surprising. Distaste, bad taste. Decouple, take apart, make it not a couple. Dehydrate, make it not hydrated. And detoxify, make it not toxic. By memorizing these three simple prefixes, you can be on guard against many different opposite words in sentences you encounter. Why do we need three different prefixes that all have the same meaning? I don't know. That's nonsense. Like literally no sense. Nothing could be more opposite in meaning than the word nonsense. And it starts with non. Welcome to Learning English with Neverdot. I'm Neverdot. Today we're going to be learning about opposites and how to create an opposite word with a prefix. One of the four prefixes that we are going to learn about is un. The others are dis, di, and non. Let's look at some examples. We've got unpleasant, which is not pleasant. Dismount, to be not mounted. Dehydrate, which is to be not hydrated. Nonsent, which means no sense. Non-believer, to not believe in something. And non-verbal, to not verbalize. There we go. That's all the ways that you can make an opposite word with a prefix using one of those four prefixes. Having four different prefixes uh, to make an opposite is really not a very, like it's, it's a very ineffective way to do this. Uh, it's just not effective for getting people to remember which word is an opposite. Really, really ineffective. Welcome to Learning English with Neverdot. I'm Neverdot. English has a lot of different ways to compose an opposite word, but not so many that you can't memorize them all through careful practice. By adding any of un, dis, di, non, or in to a word, you can make it an opposite. Let's look at some examples to make sure that's true. We have unjust, which is not just. Disallow, which means you don't allow it. Demagnetize, which means to make it not magnetic. Nonverbal, which means you don't verbalize. Ineffective, which means it's not effective. Inconspicuous means it's not conspicuous. And inflammable, which means it's not flam... Sorry. What? Inflammable means flammable. Flammable means... Inflammable means flammable. Yes. How? It the spell... The, it has the in prefix, the opposite prefix. That's impossible. Not possible. It's impossible. Im Welcome to Learning English with Neverdot. I'm Neverdot. Today we're learning about opposites and how to stick a prefix on a word to make it an opposite word. It could be any one of these six prefixes. Pick one. Un, dis, di, non, in, im. Want to see some examples? We have unlawful, which is not lawful, breaking the law. Distrust, you don't trust someone. Dehumidify, which means to make it not humid. Nonprofit, which means you're not making a profit. Inflexible, which means it's not flexible. Impossible, which means it's not possible. Immobile, which means it's not mobile. And impatient, which means you're not patient. 
I hope you've enjoyed uh, learning about opposites with me today. And while there are many different prefixes for making opposite words in English, this is rather quite irregular. Most English rules are simple, predictable, and regular. Irregular and regular. Opposites. Ear. Welcome to Learning English with Neverdot. I'm Neverdot. The English language has a multitude of prefixes that help you remember that you shouldn't trust centuries of linguistic development to produce easy to follow rules. Now, if you take one of these seven prefixes and jam them on the front of a word, it'll make an opposite word, probably. Let's look at some examples. We have unusual, disapprove, deflate, nonviolent, inseparable, impatient, irregular, irrelevant, and irrefutable. Now you may not know which of these prefixes to add to a word to make it an opposite, but at least it's one of them. Why do we have seven prefixes that mean all the same thing? It's a little illogical. Like it's not, illogical means not logical. Uh, the opposite of something making sense. Now we know illogical is an opposite because it starts with one of these seven prefixes. That's right. It's not there. Welcome to Learning English with Neverdot. I'm Neverdot. Wow, English is a surprising language, isn't it? Aren't you glad you're learning a language that is so predictable and easy to follow? Now if you use any one of these eight prefixes, un, dis, d, in, im, ear, or ill, you will produce an opposite word. Let's look at some of these examples. We have untied, disobey, dethrone, non-toxic, indestructible, imbalance, irreverent, illogical, illegal, and illegitimate. So that covers all the different ways you could make an opposite word using a prefix on the word. If you memorize all these prefixes, you're well on your way to identifying opposite words in sentences. Luckily, having eight prefixes, two, four, six, eight, Eight prefixes on a word is a very atypical thing. Like, it's not typical or normal. Atypical, like the opposite. Of course, there's one more. Welcome to Learning Never Dot with English. I'm English. And there are now nine prefixes that can make a word an opposite. Let's see some examples of those. Um, Undo, dislike, deactivate, non-combustible, insignificant, impure, irrational, illegal, atypical, amoral, and apolitical. I think that's all of them. I'm not checking that. Now, if you can remember all nine of those and keep them in your head, you are well on your way to identifying opposite words in sentences you encounter. Now, how would you know which one to use uh, of those? So, like... If I had the word like, would I use unlike or dislike? I dislike this ice cream, or I this ice cream is not unlike this other ice cream. Kind of, they're both right. That's kind of weird that they're alike. Anyways, thank you for joining me on my learning English with Never Dot, Never Dot again. And until next time, See ya. Wait, 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 wait. Alike is not an opposite. Alike, it has the opposite prefix and it's not an opposite unless it's an opposite of an opposite. Does that work? Opposite, alike. Alike means not not alike. It could. Can we say that? Otherwise, everything I've taught is garbage. Probably just want to forget you've watched this. Goodbye.